and like you see, I twist off. I always make sure I seal off my bag really well. And let's start piping. I like piping sideways myself. If I'm piping like this, when I'm piping toward myself, I can't see what I'm doing. You know? It's really hard for me to see because my bag is right here in my line of sight. So I like turning my bag to the side so I can see what I'm doing the whole time. I'm going to go ahead and start a line here. Just making it sort of a chubby log with my uh, piping bag. And then I'm going to back up about a half an inch to cut it off. Okay, Yelf shoes. <laughs> what? Yelf shoes. Yelf shoes? Yeah, that's right. But you can see what I do when I go to cut it off. I just back up about a half an inch and let the tip cut it right off. And it does, it cuts it off real nice and clean. How far apart do you need those? These are, I'm making these about an inch and a quarter apart. Um, giving them some space so airflow gets in between them. So you get really good airflow. I'm trying to pipe very consistently because if I pipe consistently, I'll get good consistent product. But there are times when you don't necessarily have your pressure down. Remember that working with piping, you're always doing that balance between pressure and how fast you're moving. So I'm, as I'm pressing it out, I'm trying to move my tip at the right rate of speed so that it comes out about even. When I I'm squeezing, I'm trying to make sure my squeezing is about even, so it's always about consistent pressure, and I get nice, consistent product that comes out looking the same. What if you're nervous and you're not exactly giving equal pressure? Well, you get a product that looks like all kinds of things. It could be a dog bone, you know, you can get this sort of caterpillar thing going. Sweet. <laughs> You know, and that kind of thing happens. And then there's other people who don't stop squeezing, right? They keep going and going, oh my God. And what they do is they, they move the product all over the place, big tails. Because they're like, I, I can't stop it. What, what, why does it keep coming out of the bag? It keeps coming out of the bag because you're squeezing. <laughs> So that's one of those things I think, uh, you know, you get it, some people get into a little panic, and that happens. I've seen it with many people over the years, and it's normal, especially the first couple of times you're doing it. But piping is piping, right? You've been piping, doing homework, and you've gotten the idea now with those small piping bags that you have to control the pressure. If you're not controlling the pressure correctly, you're going to get a product that you're going to get a result that's not exactly what you're looking for. So control the pressure. Remember, you're the boss, you're in charge of it. The product is yours. You're not, you don't belong to it. So.